Greetings gardeners, it's Amanda coming to you from the Garden Works Project where we educate and support all food growers in their efforts to nourish their families and neighbors in need. So you have two different types of lettuce. We have head lettuce, right? This is the lettuce that I actually plant, made a hole and I planted some seedlings, right? This is um, romaine lettuce. I can check my garden journal. This is romaine lettuce. And then this is that lettuce that I just scattered and I broadcast. So it's like a beautiful carpet. Um, of lettuce here. So you have to harvest them in two different ways. So for this head lettuce, any kind of lettuce, iceberg um, that, and that grows like a cabbage or this romaine that grows straight up, you harvest it like so. You're going to get a really, really sharp knife. Hold it here and you're just going to saw off the stem at the soil line, right? You don't want to yank it out because you want those roots um, to decompose into the ground and all those good microbes and stuff to stay to stay in there. So I'm going to take this, um, I'm going to harvest these as here, and I'll come back for those in a couple of days once I've gotten through these. So moving over to the scattered lettuce, the same concept applies, but there isn't a specific head to to cut off. So you just you grab it, grab a handful, and you saw away right above the soil line, like so. And you will want to do this early in the morning because these leaves are pretty warm. They've been cooking in the sun and you want to dunk them in ice cold water as soon as possible. Like so. Now I have been sowing or scattering seeds in here every week or so for the last couple months. So there's new seedlings coming up here. So when this is gone, um, I'm going to show you, take about half of this out. Um, we're going to scatter some new seedlings and we're going to fertilize because the soil has worked hard to get this lettuce to where it is now. So we're going to give it an extra boost. All right. So again, we don't want to yank the seeds out. We want to keep the soil integrity and all those great um, the good bacteria and stuff, microbes going on around there. So again, I'll come back in a couple days for that, but I want to show you what I'm going to do with here to reseed this. I'm going to add a little bit of fertilizer. So to do that, I've got a watering can filled up with about a gallon of water, and then I'm going to add a very little bit of um, fish.